I was all set to do a video on Don Cherry, and in doing my research, something happened. I found out that Don Cherry wasn't the only Cherry who played in the NHL. Did you know that he had a brother named Dick? Dick played hockey too. Dick played in the NHL. Dick had a longer NHL career than his more famous brother Don. This is the story of Don and Dick Cherry. We all know the story of Don Cherry. He came up in the Boston Bruins training system of playing for the Berry Flyers and then the Hershey Bears and had one game appearance in the playoffs in the 54-55 season for the Boston Bruins. A shoulder injury sidelined his NHL career and Don Cherry would never play in the NHL again. He did, however, go on to have a stellar career in the AHL winning four Calder Cups with the Rochester Americans and in 14 seasons would play in 767 games scoring a total of 67 goals and 192 assists for 259 points and racking up 1,066 penalty minutes. He would then go on to have his infamous coaching career with the Boston Bruins, the Colorado Rockies, and become the star of Coach's Corner, who we all know and love. His younger brother Dick was brought up in the same system that Don was, except Dick was a little bit better. His junior career with the Barry Flyers proved that Dick could score more points as a defenseman just like his brother Don, but unlike Don Cherry, Dick Cherry did not spend a lot of time in the penalty box. During the 1956-57 season with the Barry Flyers, Dick Cherry was called up to play for six games for the Boston Bruins. Just like his older brother Don, Dick did not register a single point and was sent down to the AHL the following season. Dick Cherry would continue playing in the AHL and the Eastern Professional Hockey League for the next six years. He would retire at the end of the 1963 season and went back to his hometown of Kingston, Ontario to teach high school. But it wasn't long before the hockey gods called him back, and in the 65-66 season, he played in the Ontario Hockey Association Senior League for the Kingston Aces, and then signed a contract in the Central Hockey League with the Oklahoma City Blazers the following year. And during the 68-69 season, he was signed by the Philadelphia Flyers and played two full seasons in the NHL playing 139 games for the Flyers, scoring 12 goals and getting 10 assists for 22 points. He would play four more seasons of semi-pro hockey before retiring for a second and final time. It took another 21 years before Dick Cherry was lured back into the hockey world as he was named an NHL scout for the St. Louis Blues organization for the next four years. In 2005-06, he was named Director of Player Development for the Kingston Frontenacs of the Ontario Hockey League and served until 2010-11 season when he became the team's scout and is still an active scout for the team to this very day. I've been out here a couple of days and a couple of my friends, Sly and Arsenio, uh, let me borrow a few things. Yes. Uh, Bill Ranford's in goal. Don Sherry, in case you're wondering who it is. Well, uh, Billy uh, surely be in, and he'll stand on his head. 
uh, because he, he's well rested and Grant needs a rest. I love the people out here. Look at them. Look at this floor director. The lovely people here. I love them. They're absolutely beautiful. They're gorgeous, well built, and, and the yeah. way they walk. And that's just the guys, I'll tell you. All right. <laughs> What's this got to do with the game? You, I think you've had a little too much sun, well, honestly. Uh, I, I'll tell you, you know, I'm out here and I, I've been reading the papers and I, I can see how people say they really don't want fighting here. And I can see that. The hot weather, the, the people, I can see why we shouldn't have hockey here uh, with fights. Yes, I can see that. Do you want to talk about any of the players well, involved I wanna, in this classic? Yes, I want to first of all talk about... Uh, uh, Kelly Rudy. Here comes Kelly right now. There's Kelly right. He's coming in right now. And, and I love the little, we'll pick him up. I love the little blue string that high, hangs from the back. Don't you? I love him. I, I, you can see the little string there. See? Isn't that? I think it's blue Siobhan. It fits right in with the LA image. What's with the earring on the left the, side? Well, when it's on the left side, that means I'm available. And Good. not only that, hockey without violence. It's like a silver ballet. Who are you picking? I'm not picking. Let the best team win. Why keep score? Like you, this one could go either way, I guess. It's all time.